नमस्कार वेलकम टू वंदनाज आर्ट इन पार्ट वन वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू ड्रॉ बुद्धा नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू पेंट इट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस इज द बुद्धा विच वी आर गोइंग टू पेंट I am going to paint on a big canvas. I have chosen 50 by 50 and we will start with the face right now. So I have selected these four colors. If you don't have these, don't worry. Any four shades of blue you take. Okay? White you take, light blue you take and two shades of blue you take. Don't dilute them too much. Keep the uh, consistency like we get in fabricrel colors or camlin color okay not too much so there is no rule in this you can take your own color and if you don't want to make blue it's okay you take shades of green shades of yellow and orange shades of red anything you take no problem we are only taking combination of four color and fifth color we will use either darkest blue or black to make the eyebrows and little bit highlighting so first we want to do i will start with the most difficult part that is the eye and we all struggle with the eye because eye is most difficult to make i am taking four brushes here you can take any four first step i will use darkest blue you can if you don't have you can use any other blue but i have dark blue so this is the blue and i'm going to make the eyebrow and we may have to do the touch up again now we are making the eye so our outline is ready come to next color that is this blue color very little color we need and we will start tiny stroke from here keep on mixing next color in it in such a way that they merge properly whichever is your next color okay each one will have their own different shade because we are not having same colors so dark on this side again dark on this side and our strokes are very very small as you can see my hand now slowly we will purely shift to now we are shifting to other color so we will not make a line we will merge these two color first we will do here and then slowly we will shift to that side see here it was dark color i have done on the dark color also little bit light color and my strokes are very very small darker on the eyebrow side very small tiny stroke now we are shifting to third color that is light blue but gradually we will shift here i can see two colors so i have to apply this color to fill the gap see the little bit color i have taken very little color wipe your brush take white This is the part where light comes and our eyelid shines. So here white will come. Now merge this. Keep on wiping your brush every time we don't wash because unnecessary water will spoil the paint. So lighter part is over. Now we will start again the reverse. We will start with darker side, but strokes should be very very small. and the dark color and light color should merge completely if you are sitting under the fan your color will be dried very fast because these are acrylic paint actually it's better to do with oil paint but oil paint will take time to get dry dabbing just touch of white here is the move your hand in circular motion and mix it properly now darkest and with this our eyelid is over uh, i am starting another eye same thing
make sure both the colors are merging together properly this is a disadvantage in acrylic paint that it will dry very fast but at the same time when we have to do something very fast we have to do in acrylic because oil will take time try to move your strokes in one direction we may have to give second coat this side and final touch up we will give after making the whole painting so here dark blue wipe the brush nicely second color third color and fourth color and mix all of them this is a dry brush okay it has no water no paint so just little bit dry brush and our eye is ready now we will take light blue color light blue and we will show a thin line here and very dark blue and the line here we are showing eyes closed in this i am not showing eyebrows if you want to show then we will show them after doing everything not now now here we have to mix the color i will take triple zero number brush and very less paint my one eye is complete again one more coating i am giving here now same process for the second eye so what is our process we are starting few drops here every time wipe your dry brush if you are not satisfied with your result then wait for this to dry and then you make it again don't try to do anything on the wet surface it will spoil your work if you don't have light blue you can use white color also If you don't have dark blue you can use thin line with gray color you can draw a thin line with gray color this is the most difficult part please make sure both eyebrows are almost same now i'm going on the forehead so i have taken light blue and we have to be careful because eyes are still wet now first we'll draw very small thin line along with eyebrow now mix little bit white a small touch of white and spread the color again light blue touch of this blue very very small stroke extremely small stroke i'm using only two light blue colors and i have used white color for mixing you can use water now slowly we will darken the color again very very small stroke so that color is merging properly the patches should not be seen it should look like a gradual change in the color so again i will start from here light blue around the tilak tilak you can make whatever way you like there are many ways to make buddha tilak some people make spiral tilak i make round it's okay whatever you like lighter part around the tilak we will show 
Lots of small stroke because color should be merged properly. Patches should not look uh, visible. Now this much we have done. We'll start with dark color. But when we will start with dark color, we'll start here, and then slowly we will bring it down. Whenever we find it difficult that patches are visible, we use a dry brush. See, it has gone. Okay, now I'm going to use the dry brush. My brush should be dry and no color on it, no water traces. Okay, so half face is ready, and again we have to clean the brush. I will start with the nose. Now we are taking white color and we are drawing the shape of nose. Now here we have to mix the color. Two places. One is here. One is here. So first, I am mixing the color there. The color is mixed here. If we want, we can give a touch of dark blue here. Here, I'll give very very tiny stroke so that my color will merge, and this part of the nose will be darker. Now, this nostril part will be little white. So take white, a patch of white, and around this we have to put light blue. We'll use dark blue to show the nostril, and here also we are going to show dark blue. Same thing we'll do here. White color. Draw semi circle. Take lots of white color because it will merge after drying. It will look dull. Now very tiny stroke. Again, I am taking white, and this part of the nose is always shining. Now here, tiny stroke, very very tiny. Spread the white outside. Our nose is ready. Now below the nose, we keep little darker portion. That is the shadow. and slowly this darker color will change into lighter color around the nostril we'll have very dark color here also we'll have dark color second shade this line i have to draw again it is covered by this paint So I've used three shades of blue here, dark blue on the edge, and little mixing here. Second color. Now comes the white. going to use a smaller brush here this is the shadow of the nose this part will be little darker than the cheek Now let's come to this side near the nose. So we are taking light blue, drawing a line here around the lip. We are taking dark blue and we are showing the curve here, which we all have. This whole part, I am leaving some patches of dark blue and and now I am going to do dabbing. try not to touch this light blue line 
now it is totally dry so we have to do something i will use the water of this uh, blue color and i'll apply here so that it will help us to mix the color no paint only water and see it is mixed after drying you have to see if it is still very patchy then you may have to give a coat again but avoid using too much paint try to use water and with the water try to mix it this part little bit more water actually makeup brushes are very good for this work you can use them now i'm going to bring this color slowly down then next color now white so we have to show the chin so we'll show with white and we will mix blue in it now start the fine work very fine strokes again because we have to mix everything i'm drawing the outline of the lip this side and this side we will make sure they are equal we'll start with the lip outline our upper lip is always thinner than the lower lip you have a choice if you want you make it in the shades of blue or if you want you can make it in the shades of red so it's your choice if you are making in the shades of red then here darkest red will come here pink will come or orange will come and here the second shade of blue will come i'm going to show you how it will look okay roughly we have divided into three parts now what i'm going to do uppermost part i'm going to fill this color and i have to merge it mix it very well but in such a way that outline is also visible then i use the second color that is light blue color okay this is the second color on this we will show some lines because our lip has some cracks some lines here and there our lips are not so smooth then third this color you can change the colors according to your liking in this i will give little bit shading of dark color we yeah, are lips are ready now so first i'm taking light blue color and only till here okay and now darkest blue because we all have a cavity in the ear just to show that and when it will dry then we will show line with the very dark blue so see this has merged here now near this part we will take second shade whichever second shade is yours here i'm using dark blue and mixing it with the cobalt blue okay and in the lower part it's better to give here dark and outside light see on the dark blue i'm bringing light blue so that effect will be different you can see the color is merging on its own okay so our ear is ready now this part is wet so i will start with the head part i'm going to fill first outline i'll do outline before putting color please before applying color please make sure your head shape is correct because afterwards it will be difficult you can take any blue or any other color whichever you want 
ओके आई एम नॉट डूइंग फुल बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू वेट ऑन वेट टू शो यू वेट एंड वेट आई हैव टू टेक लाइट ब्लू कलर एंड हेयर आई शो द स्पाइरल सो दैट लिटिल बिट बेस कलर विल मर्ज इन टू इट सो दिस इज वेट ऑन वेट टेक्निक and after this we will take darkest blue and we will paint very thin brush okay very very thin brush the third spiral third color so each one will have three color light blue white and very dark blue and they will merge into the base color like here if i'll show with darkest blue it won't be visible so what i have to do i have to wipe this brush and first either blue or white i will take and i will make a spiral if you don't have this you can use black also so full hair of putta we have to show like this we'll do it in such a way that white and blue both are visible okay so like this all spirals will go and after the spiral we will make the shadow of the spiral make this one in the center so that uh, you are sure that rest everything is going around it they will come best wet on wet so here i will start with white p it should be exactly in the middle then light blue and now darkest blue now below this we will show the shadow so it will be a curve like here it will be a curve by darkest blue it's not madhubani style friend these are the curves which are always shown in paintings of putta 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and seven it will be either with the black color mixed with white so it will become gray or with the darkest blue now our next thing is how to make the neck to make make the neck this portion will be darkest so here we are going to use the darkest blue here also we can give a line and merge it similarly here now this blue color we will bring it here on the shoulder okay now next color next color and mix them properly here little bright part you know friends what i do when i paint a canvas this side of the canvas you can see this uh, white side okay the frame part that also i paint so when we don't have to get it frame because i always buy the these canvases which are stretched canvas they call and i paint all these sides also every side same color like here if it is light blue coming then i will give here also light blue and the advantage is it will look like extension of painting this part should be little darker than rest of the neck so i have applied again darkest blue and we will mix it and little bit blue i will take here and i will mix it same thing i'm going to do here this side is darker okay so no shadow here 
now we are going to use darkest blue be careful at this place because chin is there and color should not go to the chin after this we will take our paint brush now i'm going to show the paint clip i'm just trying to show you because some people would like to draw lips in red colors next color i'm going to use pink okay and on the pink we'll draw lots and lots of fine lines now again you can use the red color okay and one more thing i will use one more shade of red darker than this this is the darkest red i have uh, which we call maroon please note down the number 394 it's available in fevicryl and camlin both you can make in two shades only if you want you can make in three shades and now i have to mix this shade here so and last thing which i want to show you all is how to give the background i will show you on the little portion and then you can choose your own colors and combinations so i'm going to use these three colors only here you can see i have drawn some lotuses so around the lotuses i will use the light color and as we will go up we can use the dark colors so i will start with white just mixing and stroke the very clear If you wish, you want to give plain one color. You can give. You want to give with knife. With knife, it will come out to be very, very beautiful. So you can see as we are going up. I am using the darker shade. You have to be slow and very careful. It will be a thick layer. In my case, I am doing the thick layer, and some places I am doing like this just to give the impression. texture near the lotus is i'm giving light color and after maybe this side we can give dark color it's all our wish what we want to give it's better to give light color near the head because this part will be very dark we can give lots of combination and this will be very very fast don't worry you just put the color that's all friends we have made this blue color butta i hope you like the tutorial thank you for liking subscribing and sharing the information about my youtube channel namaste dhanyawad